from the air, the scope of this crisis undeniable. This wildfire, just one of dozens burning across Alberta. But it's on the ground yeah, where plans here. to contain it are mapped out. Walk me through what this map is showing you. Okay, so this map is showing the, the, the initial ignition point was back over here to the east of Fox Creek and it has grown 52 kilometers from tip to tip and it's currently sitting at 22,000 hectares in size and it is out of control. Fox Creek is on the front lines in Alberta's wildfire fight. It's fire chief, one of the field generals. We have a two-day window to, to, to set up defenses and, uh, and make sure we can reinforce that. Cooler weather allows crews here to fight this wildfire with fire, burning a line around the town to starve an approaching fire of fuel. Tens of thousands of Albertans still out of their homes, tensions rising among some evacuees at this town hall. I have farm animals that I cannot crate up and take to a hotel. They're farm animals, farm dogs, farm cats, chickens. How do you load 50 chickens into a hotel? I just want to make sure they have water and food. Several First Nations communities have also been evacuated and are reporting substantial damage. The chief of the Sturgeon Lake Cree Nation says dozens of buildings there have burnt. This is going to take uh, several weeks to sort out. We're asking our residents to be, to be patient with us as we work um, on our recovery plan. A cruise across Alberta working to slow an already unprecedented wildfire season. We've already had 390,000 hectares burned, so it's already 10 times the, the typical fire year, and we're really just getting started. Back in Fox Creek, people are still being told to stay away. This normally bustling community, now a ghost town. And for now, at least, it needs to stay that way. I'm a volunteer also, and I want to go home, and I want to go back to the way life was, but um, I can't sleep well at night knowing that what's lurking out there is, could turn on us. So, Aaron, what's the province saying to the evacuees who just really want to go home? Yeah, Adrian, they're saying be patient. Like pretty much everybody in this province, officials are watching the weather, waiting to determine if they should be sending people back to their homes or asking other people to evacuate theirs. And here in High Prairie, folks have been told that they need to be ready to hit the road at any time. All right, Aaron Collins in High Prairie.